Hi there, I'm Wes, and today in the Slumberyard, I've got a mattress comparison between Cocoon and Nectar, this bed right behind me. So in this video, we're basically gonna cover everything that you need to know about these two options and how they stack up against each other. These are basically big online mattress brands, and it's about time we did a comparison for you, the viewers. In this video, we'll cover everything that you need to know about Cocoon and Nectar, starting off with the policies, what each mattress will come with if you decide to order them. We'll talk about the similarities and what else these beds have in common. We'll touch on the differences. And at the end, I'll try to have a final verdict and answer the questions like which bed is right for whom and who should ultimately go with each mattress. Now over here at the Slumberyard, we've reviewed over 150 beds, so we know a thing or two about mattresses, and if you need any more information about Cocoon or Nectar, check down below in the description. We'll have full written reviews, buyer guides, coupon codes, and so much more. But without further ado, let's get into this comparison. Boom, 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 boom. Let's talk about beds Ooh. at the Slumberyard. Let's talk about beds Ooh. at the Slumberyard. Now, right out of the gate, let's cover the policies that either of these beds will come with if you do decide to order them online. And I just wanna say that both Nectar and Cocoon sent us these beds for free to review, but if you order them, you're gonna get completely free shipping. The beds will show up to your house in about a four foot tall box. Then you basically drag them inside and unwrap them and let them expand on top of the foundation. Now, once either of these beds are in your possession, you get a trial period. Cocoon comes with a 100 night sleep trial and Nectar has a full year 365 night sleep trial. So this is basically your chance to try out the beds in your own home and decide if they're the mattresses that you wanna keep for the foreseeable future. If not, for whatever reason, you can get completely free returns within those trial periods. But if you decide to keep them, they're both backed by warranties. Cocoon is backed by a 10 year warranty and Nectar has a forever warranty. If you need any more information about these warranties or any of the other policies, check down below in the description. We'll try to have some helpful links for you down there. Now, starting off this comparison, let's touch on the similarities. What do these two beds have in common? Well, the flagship Nectar and the Cocoon Chill All Foam are both All Foam beds. Cocoon Chill does make a hybrid version, but we're mainly gonna focus on the All Foam in this video. So the first similarity has to do with their construction. They're both All Foam beds. In fact, they're both three layer All Foam beds. So they'll probably work best for medium and petite size folks. If you're a little heavier, you may wanna look into a hybrid option. You know, Cocoon does offer that. And we'll also try to link some of our favorite hybrid beds down below in the description. But both Cocoon and Nectar start off with a thick layer of support foam. Then on top you have a transition layer and then a comfort layer, which is memory foam on each of the beds. Now this similar construction means that both of the beds will have a very similar memory foam feel. However, it may be a little different from mattress to mattress. Nectar has a dense memory foam feel, while Cocoon has a more traditional memory foam feel. But they are gonna be fairly similar, so if you are a memory foam lover, both options might work well for you. Either memory foam will conform to the shape of your body. We just think that the Nectar mattress might be a little bit slower to respond than the Cocoon Chill mattress. But if you're a memory foam lover, definitely check out either mattress because of that feel. Both of these beds perform similar in the areas that couples often consider when making a decision, those being edge support and motion isolation. In terms of edge support, which is how well the edges of the mattress hold up under pressure, both beds are fine and on par with other foam beds. And in terms of motion isolation, each bed does a pretty good job of deadening motion, so you won't feel your partner if they get up and walk around in the middle of the night. Now let's take a quick break and talk about our monthly mattress giveaway club. Every single month at the Slumber Yard, we give away a bed and to enter, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is like every video that we put out each month and subscribe to the channel. There's a couple more steps and you can even get a bonus entry by signing up to our newsletter. Check down below in the description to see all of the nitty gritty details about our monthly mattress giveaway club. But now let's talk about the differences between Nectar and Cocoon. While both of these beds have similar feels and constructions, there are some places where they differ. The first one being firmness. Cocoon has a firmness that sits right between a medium and a medium firm on our firmness scale. This means this bed will work for all sleeper types. Nectar comes in at around a medium firm, meaning it'll work for all sleeper types as well, but it might be a slightly better option for back and stomach sleepers since it is a little firmer. You'll also notice a slight difference in the cover of each of these mattresses. Cocoon, Cocoon Chill, actually has a cooling cover, which is cool to the touch. And while we don't think it'll cool you down at night, we think it'll help you sleep temperature neutral throughout the night. Nectar's cover is completely machine washable, so you can remove the whole thing, throw it in your washing machine, 
and keep your bedroom nice and clean. Another cool part about the Nectar brand in general is that they have the 365 night trial period and the forever warranty. So these combined with the washable cover will mean that you'll probably have a nice looking mattress from Nectar for a long time. Another difference that I briefly mentioned is that Cocoon has a Cocoon hybrid mattress that provides pocketed coils, and this might be a better option for anyone that's a little bit heavier. This bed will cost you a little bit more than the Cocoon All Foam, but check down below in the description to see the exact price for the Cocoon hybrid mattress. Now, while we're on the topic of price, let's get right into it. The Cocoon and Nectar mattresses are both pretty affordable after discount. Cocoon goes for around the $1,200 mark before for a queen size, and after discount, you should be expecting to pay around $800. Nectar retails for around $1,300 for that queen, but you should expect to pay around the $900 mark after any discounts. Now, as of when I recorded this video, both of the beds were also bundling sheets and pillows with a purchase of either mattress. Check down below in the description to get those deals. And I do wanna say that sometimes these prices and these gift bundles change. So also check down below in the description to see whatever is current. But that basically brings me to the end of this video and you probably want the final verdict on Cocoon versus Nectar, which bed is right for whom and who should go with each mattress. Well, I couldn't see you going wrong with the Cocoon bed if you're looking for something with a classic memory foam feel, you want a firmness that sits right between a medium and a medium firm, that cooling cover is something that interests you, and you wanna save the most amount of money between the two, but go with Nectar if you want a bed that has more of that dense memory foam feel, you like the sound of that medium firm firmness, or you want a brand that offers really consumer friendly policies and a washable cover. But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and feel free to go to our website, myslumberyard.com, and check down below in the description for all of the great resources we have for you about these beds. But for the rest of the Slumberyard team, my name's Wes, wishing you a good night's sleep.